Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. Today we got an amazing 7-axis robot from Elephant Robotics which is based on Raspberry Pi 4. This small size robot is the most powerful robot in the current market and can be used in multi-purpose applications. The gripper attached to the end effector can be used to pick and place object to the multitasking and can be programmed as per the task to be done. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what makes the my arm 300 pi so interesting. We'll be exploring its design, feature, what this robot can do, what software it uses, the tools it comes with and all the different ways it can be used. So let's get started. This is the box sent to me by Elephant Robotics. It's a nice wooden box with all the protection. Let's unbox this. Here we have the main package. With my knife, I would like to cut the tape. Let's take it out now. It's little bit heavy but nicely packed. Anyhow, I managed to take it out perfectly. This small book is the robot manual which we'll see later on. This is the robot certification for users. From this box, we have a, an item wrapped in white polythene which is the main robotic arm. After removing the cover, it looks amazing, right? So many joints as it has 7 degrees of freedom. Along with the robotic arm, we got so many other tools and equipments which we'll discuss in detail one by one. Now let's take a look at the robot design and how it looks like. At the bottom you can see a 64 GB SD card which is inserted into the slot of Raspberry Pi 4. These four points are used to fix this robot in some surfaces such as table or any hard object. On this side, you can see the 4 USB A port of the Raspberry Pi. This can be used to connect mouse, keyboard and any USB stops. An Ethernet port is also available here to connect the CAT4 internet cable. The GPIO pins are assigned for Raspberry Pi which appears here. On this side, it has a switch which is used to turn on off the robot and the system. The power requirement for this robot is already mentioned here which is 12 volt 60 watt that's like a 5 ampere current. On this side there are HDMI and power ports of Raspberry Pi. This two HDMI port can be used to connect the monitor and from this port we can connect the power supply. The robot has 7 axis called as 7 degrees of freedom. Let's see its axis. This is the first axis at in defector. This is the second one. The third one. The fourth one. This is the fifth axis. The sixth one. And finally, this is the seventh axis. All these axes are fine and moves perfectly. Apart from the robotic arm, there are other parts in the package. There are jumper wires for GPIO pins uses. The male to male wires are available and also the male to female wires. This is the HDMI cable to connect any monitor with the system. Then we have a Type-C USB cable which is used to power the Raspberry Pi. This is the power adapter for this robot. As mentioned here, it has an input range of 100 to 240 volts with an output of 12 volt 5 ampere at 60 watt power. Perfect for powering the Pi and robot system. From this end, the adapter is connected to the robot. Connect this terminal 
टू योर पावर सप्लाई द एडेप्टर केबल कन्वर्टर कैन बी यूज इन केस इफ यू हैव अ डिफरेंट एसी सॉकेट दीज आर द एम्फो स्क्रूज यूज इन रोबोट फिक्सेशन बिफोर मूविंग अहेड इफ यू टेक अ लुक एट दिस मैनुअल दिस मैनुअल हैज ऑल द राइट थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू सेट अप दिस रोबोट it explain about the robot like nature human like nature how it works what the robot can do what are its features what are its capability the information about the robot axis what are its lengths the radius model what is the maximum load which is 200 g what is the weight that is 1.5 kg life is spend of 500 h core cpu is of raspberry pi and then we have a base connection that explain about each part apart from this it also has an accessories you can buy it so that's it that's all from the hardware part now we need to move to the setup part the setup part includes hardware setup as well as the software setup the hardware setup is little bit easy but the software setup is complicated but we'll show you how to begin with your software setup as well so let's get started now let's power on the robot to power on the robot insert the adapter cable to this port after inserting it to the adapter port press on this button so if you press it from 0 to 1 it will be turned on when the robot turns on its part becomes immovable it means you cannot move its joints it becomes fixed on the top of it a led will glow the 4 into 4 matrix led which is based on m5 stack with esp32 so this is how you power on the robot system now if you want to assess the m5 stem and want to communicate with this led system then you need to connect a type c usb cable to this port so simply insert it here now from the other end you can insert it to your computer usb port so this will simply allow the communication between m5 stacks and your computer so you can code this one to change the led color or pattern or whatever you want for the gui part and robot uses we need a display i am using a 7 inch hmi display unit you may use any hdmi monitor for input i am using this keyboard i am also connecting this mouse first connect the hdmi port to the hdmi terminal of raspberry pi in the robot base then connect the other terminal of hdmi cable to the hmi display the display also requires power so power it using the micro usb cable finally connect the mouse to the system now using the usb port connect a keyboard to this system this will complete the setup part now power on the robot by switching the power button the system will boot up immediately and after 20 seconds it will show the gui screen the wallpaper is set with elephant robotics logo you can see the linux operating system install which is basically ubuntu mate 2004 os now the first step would be to connect the system to the wifi network by default it is connected to the default access point of elephant robotics so the first thing you need is to disconnect this wifi network so the wifi network is disconnected now we need to connect it to the our network and here you will see the list of available network for my case i am connecting it to the home network so just enter the password and then 
click on connect after a while it will be connected to the wi-fi network so you can see it is showing it's connected now just click on wi-fi symbol again and go to the connection information so here you can see ip address of the system using this ip address we can connect to the vnc viewer and have a remote server ss so note the ip address and let's get connected to the vnc viewer to connect to the vnc viewer enter the ip address here click on continue enter the password the default password is elephant so the BNC viewer is connected and you can see the default wallpaper of elephant robotics but i don't like white wallpaper so i change something to dark now the desktop looks perfect perfect job now if you go to the menu option you will see all the option of a normal computer such as accessories administration education elephant robotics all the graphics views internet office packages programming packages sound video system tools and all other we also have a shutdown button at the bottom on the bottom dock bar we have some apps from elephant robotics like my studio then my blocky for coding firefox for browsing internet ROS cell 1 and ROS cell 2 for uh, controlling the robot then we have a mate terminal then we have a kiaja then we have a pluma and then we have jibhim for controlling the robot we also have a show desktop option and this shows the cpu usage and this is the recycle bin on the top right you will see a notification option and then ubuntu terminal and we also have bluetooth connection so we can add multiple bluetooth devices if we want here is the wi list of wi-fi network that we connected earlier you can enable or disable the sound bar from here now if you go to the home folder you will see the list of files and folder that is basically installed on a raspberry pi this is the operating system files so the available space is 47 GB right now. Now in the network servers, we'll see the list of available network and how the networks are configured. And you can browse through all the other option. Now here in the desktop, you can see the user manual for Elephant Robotics. You can also access this user manual through My Studio app. I'll show you how you can download the my studio app on any computer now open the my studio app on the desktop now from this list select the my arm pi so here we have a usb port connected as an m5 stack and select the language as english select the location as other region and then login here you will see the list of so many apps available now the first thing that you need to do is update the m5 stack so click on update button and it will show you the software is up to date as it's up to date till right now and here on this uh, app list you will see so many apps available for the main part we will go through the documentation so in this document you will see all about the hardware details how the robot works what are its features uh, what are its capabilities how it operates how it can be configured what are the robotics electrical uh, characteristics um, and what are the environment where it operates so this is the most important document pad that you can access through the my studio app from the elephant robotics now the main question is how would you program the robot and do the robotic operations so for programming the robot we have three different options the first option is development that is based on ros ros is an operating system that is used for simulation control of the robots in virtual environment 
and in the second option you can see the deployment is done on the python programming language so the raspberry pi supports python and after installing the python environment you are able to program the robot now the third option is deployment using the my blockly app now this is a visualized modular programming software that's belong to the graphical programming language using this software you can even program the robot now in order to use this software uh, go through the documentation of ros this explain all the linux based commands and how to operate this robot which has already pre-installed commands so just uh, go through these documentations and to start with uh, we need to paste the commands so i will copy the command first and then i will open the ros app now after opening the ros app and pasting the command uh, a window will open the window is the visualization of your robot like how the robot arms are and the robots is placed so here is a window called node so it tells about the joints of all the seven axes now if you click or randomize uh, the joints value will change randomly and if you click on the slides a uh, particular joints will be moved in any direction as you want so here uh, in this window you can see the axis position uh, it's similar to x y z values also the pitch roll your values so uh, using this one we will be controlling the robot first now let's see the action so here in the window you can see the same robot position is shown here now when you click on randomize the robot will move in different different directions so from here you can assign the position of all the seven axes the robot can be programmed in a such a way that it will be continuously taking a motion in a particular direction and with particular position for a particular instance of time so that's all from the robot part so this was one of the part like uh, how do we use the ROS software to control the robot apart from the ROS software uh, you can also control the robot through python programming and my blockly programming so i hope if you go through the documentation uh, it will be very helpful for you to program this robot now in order to purchase this robot you can visit the elephant robotics shopping site so the black friday is coming and they are offering huge discount on so many products you can go through the product that they are currently selling with the discount offer as you can see here the my cobot pro is as 8% discount and the my arm 300 is at 25% discount you can avail all this discount through this link and you can also get the $50 unlock coupon so that's all from this video part today. Thank you so much for watching.